Yo, what's up, people? It's gonna be the last video for the day. It's 11, 10 p.m., 30 degrees, even though I know it's about 27. It'll lower in just a second. It's, uh, oh, I guess it's, well, it's still uh, February 15th, 2019 in Big Bear Lake. We're getting snow. Wanted you guys to see what it looks like. It's been coming down pretty good. We're making almost fresh tracks on the roads, which is nice. And guys, I want to thank you guys, my my freaking friends and fans for sticking up for me, dude. Because I've, I've seen a couple really just dickhead comments, excuse my language, but dickhead comments. And uh, you guys, some of you have been like really laying down the law with these people, dude. And it reminds me of me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, thank you guys so much. Because you guys know, like, like I have no problem telling these people how I feel. And I know two wrongs don't make a right, whatever, but if someone's gonna talk smack to me, I I just I just assume talk smack right back. Um, but you guys are just, you guys got my back and I'm so stoked about that, man. That was so cool reading some of the responses, but these people are just people who, who constantly try to virtue signal. It's so funny. They project onto you. Like it's it's just it's just so clear that there is there's no constructive criticism involved. It's just virtue signaling and trying to get everyone to look at them to think they're good people. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. So yeah. So we're meeting somebody right here. Boom. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you guys so much for being so damn cool, man. Got my back. I love you guys, dude. I love you guys. So I'm going to turn around and face this way so we're not just staring at the ATM machine, even though it's a good thing to stare at. It gives you ambition and motivation for getting money, man. Getting the money, man. So this is where I used to work right here at Radio Shack right behind us. Oh, so yeah, we're just gonna wait right here. I got someone cruising over and yeah, as a matter of fact, I might as well just drive around. Oh no, we're not gonna drive around the parking lot like an idiot. I don't wanna draw any attention where it's not needed. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna let this video go for now until next time. Well, I'm gonna do the rest on the way home. But yeah, guys, thanks for having my back. Um, I appreciate it. Here he comes, peace out. All right, guys, so this is going to be an attachment to the other video. We're just going to have a little fun since there's no one on the roads. Woo! Woohoo! All right. Um, oh, he's, re he's reckless. How dare he? Let me virtue signal so everyone thinks I'm a good person and make sure that he knows he's a bad driver, unsafe. Please. <laughs> Dude, I love it. I, <laughs> I really do. I, But... For those of you who actually give me constructive criticism and I can tell you mean it, you have to admit I respond in kind. Where I definitely look in like like uh, off the planet and some of you other guys who mentioned that I curse too much. Like at first it pissed me right the f off, but I decided that I'm gonna take a look at it and I've decided to try to make some um, changes like that because you guys were saying it in in a nice way not trying to say it like, oh, you're, you're perfect and you never do anything, you know? There's there, there's a way to relay messages, guys, and um, the way a lot of you do it, I absolutely love it, but some people just write up and just start just harassing me, and then a lot of you stick up for me, and I really appreciate it because you guys know how I go off. If you guys go back to some of my videos from a few years ago, dude, I go off on people, but I'm just being myself. like. I'm just being myself. I'm not instigating it. I'm just trying to finish it. And uh, yeah, so anyway, you guys, I appreciate you guys sticking up for me always. You guys are so freaking cool. Um, so yeah, so we're going to head into the Moon Ridge area, go over towards Bear Mountain, just so uh, we can kind of get a sense of how deep the snow is over here right now. It's not too deep though. It's not too deep. We've maybe received an inch and a half, two inches of snow from this new little bit of snow. Maybe two inches over here. When we get to bear, it'll probably be three inches. And this guy in front of me is really irritating me, so I'm going to slow way the hell down. Just so you guys, there's no one behind us, period. It's not like I'm stopping in the middle of the road. Don't worry. I'm not going to do that. Oh, see, this guy's going down. What a, what a schmuck. Okay, I want to go straight. I, but I want to turn on my brights so you guys can see, but that guy's going way too slow. Now we can turn on the brights because he's not in front of us anymore. So, yeah, guys, like... Uh, 
I accept criticism for sure, especially when it's of the constructive variety because I'm not too much of a fool to think that I can't change and, and to think that like I'm not set in my ways. I'm really not because I know that we all have our character defects and I'm not perfect, nowhere near it. So you guys are just awesome, the ones who really care and give me constructive criticism on things that I need to, you know, get a, get a talking to about. But the ones who just simply virtue signal, just so everyone else can uh, can look at their comment and think, wow, this person must be such a good person. And uh, yeah, wow, like wow, yeah, like wow, what what a comment. Like, did you see how they wrote that? They just must be a great person. Yeah. So those of you who are doing it like that. Honestly, dude, just go fuck yourselves. Like, like I have no time for you. Neither do my people here. We don't have time for you. We are a channel of just cruising around Big Bear, having fun, um, just having fun documenting all of our weather. It's like a blizzard up here, guys. And uh, we don't need you freaking downers, dude. Like, I'm just blocking your asses right away. You guys can stay home, man. Stay home. I don't, I, just, just don't show up here. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. You know what I'm saying? So make like Tom and Cruz. But for the rest of you, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, once again, please rest assured, I'm not going to put your guys' lives in jeopardy while driving on these roads. I assure you. I assure you. But I know there's going to be people out there that no matter what, no matter what I do, it's going to be an issue. No matter what I do. And that's on you. Like, uh, if if I can take up space in your head like that, and you're thinking about me like that, <laughs> good, good. Waste your time. Think about me like that. But the rest of you, as I said, I really love and have a lot of respect for you guys. And and when you guys call me on things, I I listen. I do, especially the ones who have been here for a long time. Because sometimes some of you who have been here for a long time leave me a comment I don't really like. But because I trust that it's real from your hearts, I listen. And it means a lot to me when I think about it in hindsight that you guys actually give a damn enough to leave comments like that to try to help my life, to try to help me improve who I am as a man and be the best man I can. Um, that's what you guys do for me. And I really hope you guys realize that. It's just amazing what you guys do for me. So we're gonna go up here to the top, up by Bear Mountain. Um, well, we're actually gonna go onto the Bear Mountain ski run, onto what's called uh, the uh, oh shit, here's a car, the the beginner's something, um, Easy Street or something, or maybe that's the summit. I don't know. What is this? Oh man, come on, people! Look, parked right in the middle of of the street. Look at that. Just, <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Well, we're making fresh tracks up here, guys. That's a snow pl uh, snow groomer on the mountain uh, at, at the ski resort to the right. Do you guys see it? That's a snow groomer. I probably didn't say that right, but it's okay. The snow machine that grooms the mountains. Uh, we're heading up here to the top as far as we can go. And there's some more groomers up here. My A good friend of mine, Boris, does this stuff up here. So if I see him, maybe he'll take us for a ride. No, there's no way he would take us for a ride on that thing. But I would ask, and if we go for a ride, how cool would that be, guys? We did that last season when I worked for Bear. We got to take a snowcat up to the top on Geronimo. So hopefully you guys, I don't know. I don't know. Look at this, dude. Look at the snow machine right there. It's right in front of us. How freaking cool is that? Look at that. Yeah, guys, that is so neat. So we're at Bear Mountain right on the freaking mountain, basically. Look, that's the snow groomer right there. Guys, that is so cool. Unbelievable. Oh, man, I love you guys. I love doing this for you guys. And seriously, once again, I'm blown away that you guys got my, got my freaking back like that, dude. You know what? Here's Mr. Snow freaking groomer. Hey, bro! I just wanted to thank him. Oh, well. 
Have a great night, man. You are what keeps this mountain looking awesome, man. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Guys, I freaking love it. I love this. Look at how much snow we got up here. I'm sure you guys can't tell, but uh, we got quite a bit of snow up here, about three inches up here. It's just amazing. And we're making the fresh trails, folks. The fresh trails, bro. These tracks right there, man. Those are my tracks, eh? Those are my tracks, eh? Oh, my friends. Seriously, guys, like, I can't believe you guys come to my rescue like that. Seriously, I freaking love you guys. Like, like, uh, because look, guys, I can't, con I can't completely not be me. Like, like, I can work on my cussing and stuff. That's one thing I can control for the most part. I sold multi-million dollar houses for years in Newport Beach, Laguna, Newport Coast for my mom's team, the Amstetter team. Um, dude, like, trust me, I can completely communicate like a big boy. Um, it's just some, sometimes I, 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 I just let myself get loose and I know for some of you it's offensive and usually I don't care, but because I love you guys, I do care. I don't want to offend my friends, but sometimes you guys got to harden up a bit while I soften up. It's, it's, it, it's called negotiating, meeting in the middle, you know, coming up with a solution for both of us. And I just really appreciate you guys looking after me like that. Like I'm telling you, that meant the world to me reading some of the comments after people left me like this guy is such a jerk all he does is risk people's lives driving around big bear what an idiot like i'd report him or like some stupid shit like that and dude you know i just want to kick you right in your Ooh, oh i almost said oh i almost said the c word oh, 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 oh. there's no crow in the car but holy cow i would have been eating crow oh my gosh i that word should shut down my station if i would have said that like that is just, there's just no reason for that. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I got the window down. There's one of the ski runs up there. Oh man, guys, it's so beautiful. So B-E-A-U-T-F-U-L. B-E-A-U-T-F-U-L. Look at these guys are still in the middle of the road. That's just fantastic. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he's stuck right there. Oh, poor guys. I don't want them to be stuck. Like, that sucks. Man, I wish there was something I could do about it to help them out. I know I complain about these people a lot, guys, but believe it or not, like, I'm not that much of a freaking jerk. I get frustrated, but that doesn't mean I won't help. Like, if there's a, a car accident holding er everyone up, it's frustrating, but I, I'll help. Anyway, we're going to go to the left this time over by bear so you guys can get a better a bearer look <laughs> a bearer look seriously though i can't believe you guys stick up for me like that you guys are insanely cool i am so lucky why do friends cover my ass anytime i get harassed here is bear it longs to bear just like bear all right guys oh you know what i could do fresh tracks spelling out big bear you know what let's spell out a big letter b okay so we got to do this right here okay so that's part of the b oh no i'm not gonna be able to to do it i, I don't think okay so wait if i do that and then i do this that'll be more of like a figure eight but it'll be okay Yeah, it's just not going to work out. <laughs> it's not going to work out good at all. But anyway, I hope you guys can see we're at Bear Mountain. And it just looks marvelous. Simply marvelous, folks. Just just simply marvelous. And I don't want to get in this guy's way, so I'll get out of out of his his way. I'll get out of his way. He's chasing me down. He's like, dude, get the flock out of here. Get the flock out of here. And like me, they're long. You know what? If my friend Jeremy's car's here, we're gonna go in, go into the kitchen real quick. Nope, I don't see him. I don't see his car. That would have been so funny. I miss working here, guys. And I miss working here. I miss it so much. I remember I used to throw big old bags of trash from the top floor down there. I know that doesn't sound like fun, but it really was when you're working hard all day. Just take a load off with the garbage. Anyway, guys. Um, I love you guys so much. 
I'm so, so honored to do this for you guys. As I said, especially since you guys got my back. Like, dude, some of the responses that, that you guys left on my behalf, I'm telling you guys, that meant more to me than anything that any of you have ever done for me. I don't care if you send me a million dollars, the fact that you guys had my back as a friend absolutely meant the world to me and brought me to my knees, metaphorically speaking. You guys are absolutely phenomenal. And I love you guys tremendously. And I am so freaking honored to be part of your lives. You have no idea. I am the luckiest man alive. You know what, dude? That Bear Mountain sign all lit up at night looks pretty sick. So we're going to have to turn around and check it out. Oh, here comes a car and I need to... Yeah, I don't think he sees that I see him, but I do. Okay, buddy, come on. Yeah, there you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Guys, look at how beautiful this Bear Mountain sign looks right here, dude. How sick is that? How freaking sick is that? You know what, dude, I don't see any cars. We're just gonna pull right up to it like this. I don't wanna zoom in on it because that's just insanely beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's so beautiful. Love you guys, man. Love you guys. Absolutely incredible. No one behind me. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. I cussed again. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys, so we have about three inches of snow over here. Um, one way we're going to check is we're going to pull over to the side where we're not blocking any traffic, where we're out of the road right here. And we're just going to go up here. Yes, I'm wearing my tank top, but I didn't expect to get out of the car. I wear my tank top, guys, because once you're, like, when you do the work I do and you go out of your house 15 times a day, it gets to be a pain in the ass to put on your pants, your, your shirt, your jacket, your this and that. So... So here, what I'm gonna do is I'll put the phone up here so you guys can see me out there. I'll show you the measurement. So it went up to my middle knuckle, and that is about, let's see, that's about two and a half inches. Don't half inches, man. Don't half, don't, don't, don't half. All right, now we're gonna go into the parking lot and just make a quick U-turn the way we like to do it. Oh, this guy's getting reckless. Okay, let's do it. Actually, it didn't really work out the way I wanted. There we go. That's what we wanted right there. Now we can make like Tom and Cruise out of the parking lot. And get loose there, get loose on this turn. I mean, we'll basically drift the whole way home, you guys, if, if you don't mind. Woo! A little driftage. Oh my gosh, that guy, that guy! The first time I ever heard someone complaining about my driving was when I had my Mercedes ML 500. Um, for the first few years during our our weather up here, and I bought it brand new at Fletcher Jones Motor Cars in 2004. But the whole point with that thing is I had overheard through a friend of mine who who works the chain controls, or no, sorry, he installs chains on the on, on, on the days where it's really freaking busy, where they just completely rip everybody off. He installs chains, and he told me that he heard over his radio, Caltrans were like saying, yeah, and. Uh, um, there is some uh, guy who, who drives around like a bat out of hell in his black Mercedes recording our winter weather up here. He didn't say nothing bad, but just like a bat out of hell. So I'm assuming that that means like he wasn't too stoked about that. And that took like, I listened to that and I heeded that. And it's not like I was speeding you guys. I'm just going around people who are driving like complete morons. Um, you know, I'm, but I definitely heeded that advice. And guys, just look at how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh. Look at this, man. Look at this. 
Se na tonga tonga, gonna make a tongue. Gonna make a tongue. Yeah, so, yeah, we are on Club View. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. And we're gonna actually go down the side street so we can go down the side street. And instead of having to face these these main streets like usual, just we're gonna take this to Elm Street and we're and then we're we're gonna be good. Driftage? Dang it, we didn't drift much. But yeah guys, we are in the Moon Ridge area and it's just so pretty right now. It's so pretty. Um I don't remember what I was talking about. I'm sure I was talking smack on something. And that looks like a John Law right in front of me. It's not though. Oh, oh, that was a driveway that I was gonna try and drive down. That's funny. That wouldn't have been. That would have been embarrassing. But anyway, guys. So I looked at the weather forecast thing, and it's uh, the weather forecast thing. The the uh, the radar, and it looks like everything's supposed to end at about 1 a.m. So earlier it said it was gonna go to about noon. Then it said it was gonna end at 10 p.m. Then it said it was gonna go till about 2 p.m. tomorrow. Now it's supposed to end in the next couple hours. So um, this looks like it's about all we're gonna get, guys. As I said, we had about two and a half inches over there by Big Bear, Bear Mountain, Big Bear Mountain. Um, Boat with the fur, Boat with the fur. Okay, we just passed fur. Had to do my little rap song impersonation of that song. Alright. Um yeah. Yeah. Now. Now. No. Christopher Walken, no. No. What you gotta do, you see. It's horrible. That's a horrible Christopher Walken. So get on board. Nicholas. Nicholas, what are you doing? <laughs> Seriously, you need to learn how to drive. Drive it hard. Hard, Nick. Drive it hard, Nicholas. <laughs> Make the left. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Now he needs to make the right turn. Turn it hard. Now see, now I'm like, now I sounded like I was Adam Sandler trying to do an impression of, uh, of what's his name? No. Bob. Hey, Bob. Listen to me, Bob. What are you doing, Bob? Hey. Let's drift a little bit here. Sweetness. But uh, yeah, anyway. No. We can't make it right. <laughs> no, it's so horrible. But I'm trying. It's hard. See, that's really, really, really bad effort. So, gotta make it run. Dude, that's the worst ever. I'm so sorry, guys. Give it up. You're trying too hard. <laughs> sorry, it's so bad. No. <laughs> no, don't stop. <laughs> guys, I love you guys so much. It's a real joy to have you guys with me. And once again, um, the, most Im the, the most impactful thing that you guys have, 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 have done for me, which shows me that you guys really love me, is have my back when people talk shit on the comments, talk smack on the comments. I really appreciate you guys tremendously. And uh, you guys truly have been so impactful on, on, on my life. Um, you know, you guys give me reason. You really do. I love you guys. And that little box to the left of us, that's my little motorcycle garage. And we'll be going on some motorcycle rides come summertime, guys. So be ready for that. I love you guys so much. Take care. Peace out. February 15th, 2019. 11.38 p.m. 28 degrees. Big Bear Lake, California. I love you. I love you. I love you.